Hello and welcome back, folks. What the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage here, and we are in Total War Shogun 2, where we're going to be continuing the rise of the Satsuma Republic. And boy, is it ever a mess right now <laughs> because of all the rebellions going on. So we're going to pick up where we left off, which was dealing with said mess. Um, and it has been interesting, to say the least. One of the only advantages that I have going for myself right now, assuming that I can continue to afford it, is my rather large fleet, um, which is probably near uh, indefeatable. And then, of course, I've got a pretty solid army. If we ran up against the wrong thing, it could be defeated, um, but is otherwise pretty powerful. Let's go ahead and end turn, because I think that's where we're at. I've been saving a little cash, because there's been a couple of times where we went into the negative, and we can't afford to get too low. Now, just as a quick reminder to those not as familiar with this game, um, whenever you go into the negative on this game, if you run out of cash in your tre treasury, you start to take attrition, and you're going to start to have other problems. Ah, oh, sweet. These um, samurai rebels are just going to throw themselves in my garrison, so I can auto-resolve this, um, because we actually get reinforcements. I say I can auto-resolve this. I hope it doesn't kill off any of my troops here. I'm going to do a quick save just in case, and then I'll run the auto-resolve. I was worried they might use it as a way to kill off... No, they did not. Okay, so we're safe. And that Samurai Rebellion at Bizen is defeated. And remember that we're working on getting to a, a point of pro-independence for all of our provinces, which is why we're getting all these rebellions, because basically your people switch allegiance. I figured this would come. Actually, it looks like the auto-resolve might let us win this one too. Sweet. Counter resolves being very kind to us, so let's just let it let it happen. I did not expect this, and I will take every last bit of it. Now, some of the problems that we're going to have, though, still, is that um, <laughs> we've got more coming. It's not over yet. Uh, like I said, there's there's definitely going to be more coming, and we've got a lot of damaged buildings that I can't afford to repair. Um, so we're going to have to kind of carefully play that out. Now, as a, a province begins to become more stable again, we could probably spend a little money. So like, for instance, they damaged the castle, which helps with repressing. I'm going to go ahead and repair that. I can't afford to repair all these independently, which I would love to. But like, where I can go in and repair a castle that's been damaged, uh, that we will want to do. Um, this Samurai Rebellion has a chance of actually probably winning Let's look at others, and I just want to check my castles. So, like, again, here, damage on my castle. Let's repair that. So, I think those are all the places where it occurred. There's a small Choshu um, and Vanguard fleet here. Um, really no need for me to go repair until we've killed this. So, let's go kill their ship. Never gonna hurt to just take their fleets out the water. So that's done. Let's head over here for repairs. I gotta keep this fleet operable, hopefully. Alright, and then this fleet needs to pull away from the gun emplacements that it's being bombarded by and repair. This will actually be kind of expensive. So, gosh. It's gonna be very expensive. Um... Well, I can't afford to not repair this fleet, <clears throat> so I'm not excited about this because i got to blow almost all my money repairing it because we ended up stuck in range of that gun emplacement. Ready for orders. As you command. Let's see, that'll help calm them down for a turn, and then we can come over here and attack Buzin, so I've got to stay on the offensive where it's possible. And we've got to keep shutting down these rebellions. Minasaka another place where the castle is damaged, but it costs too much for me to repair. We need to repair it, though, because it's going to help control the public order. So, likely some of these provinces will rebel twice. Um, and the happiness is going to remain low because we can't really afford to repair them. And even if I did repair them, an enemy fleet will probably roll past and bombard them. So, it's going to be a very difficult position to operate from for quite a lot of turns here, folks. No doubt about it. I'm trying to get your comments pulled up from the last one. 
We'll get to some of those. Here we go. I haven't seen everything that happened here, but yeah, see, there's what I'm talking about, the ship's bombarding. That's why I have to repair my fleet. And we gotta be careful not to end up in range of an enemy port guns anymore. I honestly think the auto resolve's gonna give us this too. I'm gonna quick save here. And if, whatever the auto resolve's gonna give me, and I think Suo has Gatling towers as well. Those gates are open, let's auto resolve. Now you defeat. No, we're not going to allow that. Let's load that quick save and fight that battle. Um, I'm not going to be able to uh, do the cinematic battles this time, which I hate because I know you all are used to it, but I'm just in a hurry to record. And I've got a whole lot of stuff to get done in a very short order. I like how it says that we're going to win, but then the auto-resolve chucked me there. I don't think these guys can win. Um, let's fight this one and see. All right, folks, the fighting has started. I'm gonna use a um, fire and retreat type tactic. The uh, AI does have bow units, which will outrange me and will be a little bit problematic uh, because of that range. But um, I do have the cover of these walls, which will mostly protect me from uh, their fire. And so I'm gonna take up some advantageous positions and uh, kind of go for broke, trying to hurt these guys early. You can see again, they do have bows that can shoot me from outside of my gun range, but at some point they're um, they're going to have to bring ooh, my generals under attack. From my general, he's over here. Yeah, we're just under heavy bow fire. I actually, may. Yeah, this bow situation is going to be annoying, actually. Just because they have range on me. But there's other places where they're losing terribly. So, like, right over here, I'm shredding through them. They did capture that tower, but I'm going to attempt to move back in on it. So, eventually they have to move forward to try and take the keep. And it's not going to go well for them when they do. You see, like, right here, their spear levy are wavering. So, I will fall back at points and use my, my keep as necessary, but we're going to basically try and inflict heavy damage on these guys from from range and destroy their spear levy before they can ever be effective. Like right here, we've managed to route these guys. I'm going to come capture this tower, retake it, because the tower will help fire back on these archers. See right here, I'm getting really good shots into the flanks of these units. So, so far, so good. Unfortunately, my general's taking quite a bit of fire, and we can probably rectify that by pulling him back. And then putting him back on the wall after these bow units have to move forward to try and stay in range. The men have taken an enemy tower. See that? We're going to pull them. We're going to pull them forward. Okay, so we retook the tower. I can now garrison this wall. Try and keep the bows busy. We gotta move. Our general's getting shot. I'm going to take these spears over here. And I'm gonna put my general over here. Yeah, we are taking heavy fire. Fight these guys off. These Bokachi are going to be annoying, but we'll deal with them, given time. It looks like we won the fight over here, so these troops can probably begin the process of repositioning. Right here, I've got great support fire from that higher wall. And same thing, we're going to have good support fire from here. I'm going to fall back a little here and then re-garrison. That'll pull the, the bows into range. Here they're ignoring my spears and just shooting at my units farther away. That's fine. They're going to be taking tower fire at the same time. And they're going to run out of arrows before that ever becomes anything effective. So I'm actually kind of okay with that situation. Swing Sir, back to the other side of the battle. There we go. So that has done the deal. So that routed them. So we basically have to keep falling back until those bows commit to the wall. And then we can get them. But 
most everything for the enemy should be wavering. See, my general is now in a position to fire, so my line infantry's got that wall garrisoned. I'm gonna leave this spear levy here. Spread wide and thin, ready to support if these archers climb the wall and want to get into a melee. Otherwise, my line infantry will cut them down. In fact, I've got suppressive fire. I can use that everywhere with my line infantry, which will lower the leadership of the enemy archers. They've only got a few units left, including their general's bodyguard. What's funny is they have a bunch of samurai troops, but their general bodyguard is a modern unit. Makes a lot of sense if you don't think about it. These guys shot up some troops on the way in too. They've got 261 kills, so they were... Oh yeah, they were very effective. And it looks like we've forced the enemy archers forward over here. Let's go back and reposition this line infantry down here on this wall. So I'll move forward. And then over here, the archers are being slowly cleared out by my line infantry. So they're going to lose, and they're going to lose decisively. So the auto-resolve was way off here. We had plenty of things to defend ourselves with. It just didn't know how to calculate the ranged advantage or anything else like that. So sometimes the auto-resolve is too kind to you, like we saw it be in a couple of those battles. But other times, it's you know far too unkind to you. All things considered, these guys know they're about to get shot up from the walls, so instead they decide they might want to start running inside. But it's too late, so those archers are going to start getting shot in the back. And I am here for it. My spear levy is going to need to come into combat here. Awesome. There we go. So you can see these archers being cut down. Having to stand within gun range while being shot is pretty brutal. No way they can last very long in that type of scenario. And the same thing here. My guns are up on the wall and they're just going to start picking apart this, this bow kachi. Alright, my spear levy put an end to those spearmen. There's just a few bow kachi left. Let's go check this far side. Yeah, here's their enemy general is one of the only units they've got left that's going to have to dismount and try and fight itself. The gates are broken, so they could come in the gates, but let's... Okay, yeah, it looks like they are going to come in the gate. That is definitely the smarter move. Because uh, otherwise, climbing the walls, they would probably take a few losses. In fact, I'm just going to let my infantry gun the enemy general down because he's going to get shot as he comes up and over the top of that ramp. So here they come, sabers drawn. <laughs> what happens when you bring a sword to a gunfight, folks? So the Great Samurai Rebellion has been put down, and we are victorious. Alright, so that was a decisive victory, and not surprisingly so, given the size of that citadel, and uh, how many guns we had as opposed to them. These guys are going to defeat me probably here. I don't know whether we can defeat them or not, um, but I'm right there where I can just retake this settlement. However, if this settlement is collecting taxes for me, you know, it could be very important for us to win this. I just, I don't know if our levy infantry is capable of shooting this one out. It's possible, but it kind of depends on a lot of factors. I'm just going to auto-resolve it to save us the time, and then I'm going to retake it. Yeah, we're still in the positive for now. This one looks to be more in our favor. And it gave us the victory. We're going to get the victory here. Looks like ultimately crushed that rebellion. Okay, so we lost Bitchu, but we're about to retake it. We're going to continue to get mounting unrest over and over and over again. That's fantastic. Of course, we're like two feet away from reaching that settlement and retaking it on this turn because, just because, <laughs> because that's the way it's got to go. Um, I wish I could repair the castle here. Uh, just too much money, and we're gonna get hit over and over and over again. So this is not the end of this, folks.
What's this army got in it, and could we possibly go after that enemy? Right now, I'm kind of content. Okay, see, like right here, we're now pro-independent. So some of our provinces are starting to flip to pro-independence. I think I've got most of them being taxed. Not all of them, though. So let's take a look here. The settlement still is refusing to be taxed. We're going to have to wait till the pro-independence gets a little higher. Really don't want even more provinces rebelling, but at some point, got to make some money. So like, for instance, right here, it looks like I've got this settlement. Being, not being taxed, but I don't have any troops to get over there at the moment. It's going to take so long just to put together the money to repair all of my facilities. Like, it's going to take... Uh, an insanely long amount of time. Um, I'm gonna bring this fleet back up here. Ready for orders. And bombard these rebel. Actually, we can't reach them, darn. I thought we would have a wider bombardment range. It's a very narrow bombardment range for such an advanced fleet. It's kind of irritating, in fact. Um, land development. It looks like I was working on I have armor-piercing shells, which is good. Very good. 1 to clan under 13% reduction of administration costs. Clan-wide tax rate would be very helpful. Possible number. Asia actions. I'm looking to see plus 1 to Daimyo's Honor training camp. Plus 2 to clan-wide happiness would be helpful, but it's going to take... 10 turns to get there. Increases the spread of influence. That could be nice. So... Reduction of administration cost would be helpful and clan-wide tax rate. So all of this is going to be helpful, to be honest. Daimyo honor is all helpful. Loyalty of generals. Oh boy. Yeah, clan-wide happiness is very important, so it's going to take me 10 turns to get there, but let's at least try to get there. Speaking of, um, let me get to some of the comments you all have. I don't really have anything else I can move for this turn, so let's end the turn. Ian's Mental Omega says, me watching your first battle. Oh, those torpedoes aren't going to hit. OS. He did, uh, he just walked into it. Yeah, that boat backed up right into those torpedoes. It says, epic showing, man, but credit where credit's due. We got to thank that ship captain for slow sailing uh, directly into the path of four torpedoes. We do. I appreciate it. It's been a long time since I've gotten to see something as entertaining as four torpedo strikes. Um, but yeah, I definitely appreciate that, um, that captain for helping us out. Thanks, Ian. Appreciate you uh, watching, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Let's get rid of some of these rebellions here. At least we'll have a couple of provinces free of rebellion for like two seconds. <laughs> this is a huge samurai rebellion there. It's just so much spear levy and I'm questioning whether we can win this and I, I kind of think we can. And if we can win this and keep this province free for longer, it's just that much more income helping me. So let's give it a shot. All right, the battle's getting underway. I've taken up defensive positions within my fort where we're gonna try and whittle down the huge number of spear levy that the enemy is bringing to bear on us. So I'm gonna be using the different tiers of my fort to just kind of open fire and, and hope for the best. These are just levy infantry though, so their fire rate is somewhat limited. Uh, the gates are open by the way, so we need to fall back. They can just run straight in the gates. There was damage to my, my gates because the castle was, was damaged. Looks like the AI is going to go for this high wall climb right here. And I'm going to need additional reserves over here. We've got a large number of foes kind of wall climbing against us. Oh yeah, we've got even more spear levy coming in over here. I have to garrison and try and fight them back. That is a huge wall to climb, so I'm gonna hope for the best there. I did leave one spear levy down here. Guard that tower, 
uh, and kind of act as bait so that my other levies up here can keep firing and hopefully whittle out a lot of enemy troops that way. Uh, this is just spear levy for the enemy and having to climb such a wall and fight into unbreakable foes, I'm hoping becomes more than they can handle. We'll see. I mean, they're already taking some pretty egregious damage. See, I've got very commanding positions up here on the walls, and so they're going to be under heavy fire. Um, relatively low leadership. I'm not sure whether I should have fought for this tower or not, because my units can route down here, unfortunately. But I think that the enemy will suffer a pretty big leadership problem all around the board. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. I already see some of their units wavering. That's good. Uh, we've got to keep that power bar as far against them as possible. Sir, I fear your general is in mortal peril. Oh, we're all in mortal peril. We are all in mortal peril. These guys are climbing the wall over here instead of walking through an open gate. That is very fortuitous for me. Yeah, see, look, it worked here. A spear levy stood their ground, and the enemy units are shattering. Um, they just don't have the leadership to hold together an assault. That's what I was hoping for. Um, Spear Levy is just extremely unreliable in terms of leadership, but mine is unbreakable um, when it's on this top tier of my fort, which means that, you know, we literally don't have to worry about the same leadership issues that they do. And as expected, we were able to repulse this attack. Um, there's going to be a little bit left here for him. It's just a bodyguard that they've been given as the rebellious army. Some of their troops are coming back for seconds, and they're not really going to enjoy that experience. I get re-garrisoned here and begin shooting. It won't take much to reroute these guys a few shots to the head, and they're going to remember. Plus, they have to climb this tall wall, which all of that hurts morale quite badly. Yeah, this scene is probably about to shatter. I'm surprised they've made it this far, but yeah, their guys are going to start falling off the walls as well. Losses are going to mount. There they go. So that leaves the general as the only unit. And they are about to scale a large wall. There we go. So we've got all of the enemies in retreat the and this last unit wants to have a gunfight with me from at the bottom of the wall which very brave um, albeit pretty foolish they're pretty outnumbered and they're firing up with pistols into a bunch of riflemen so that ended about the way that we expected so Good news here, though, is that's another solid defense victory for us. All right, looks like our foreign veteran increased in rank, and the unrest just continues. So we are up against ever-mounting unrest. We need to retake our settlement here. Um, is the auto-resolve going to be polite to me? Should be. Yes, it was. So we're going to peacefully reoccupy our territory and continue to try and convert it. So at least that helps a little bit in terms of income. We are by no means wealthy all of a sudden. We've got we've got issues. I'd love to repair this, but what's the the cost of it here? I thought it's supposed to tell me the cost when I hover over this. Help with repression. Okay, yeah, we'll repair it. Bizen it's a bunch of buildings I would like to repair, but I can't afford to, so we're going to have to just kind of wait and hope the buildings will slowly repair themselves, and I think they do. There is an enemy fleet blockading me at Bichu. It's a Sunpu fleet. We've defeated the Sunpu in naval combat recently as well. They've got a wooden Kasuga, wooden Chitin, wooden Chitin, Kanranmaru, uh, two Kanranmaru, so a pretty weak fleet. All things considered, we can't afford to auto-resolve this, though, so it's going to have to be something that I take on manually. And I'm out of time for this episode. Um, I do hope you all enjoyed it. I'll be back with some more action soon. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.